Hey, how's it going, old school RuneScape, and welcome back to another weekly recap. And we kicked off the week with a new dev blog on Grey Karend. And because this blog is so packed with content, I'm going to take you through it quickly. So first, we have the Catacombs of Karend. Found deep beneath the city, the entire dungeon will be multi-combat with no cannons allowed. Bones buried within the catacombs restore prayer points by a small amount. There will be higher level versions of existing slayer creatures like Bloodvelds or Banshees. And creatures within the catacombs have a chance of dropping pieces of Dark Totem, which can be used to take on a new demiboss. Then there's also the Arc Light. With a new rare drop of Archaic Shards, you'll have the ability to infuse these shards with your Dark Light to create the Arc Light. This weapon will be especially effective against demons, and requiring 75 attack, you can bet it's going to be good. In addition, we're looking at adding a minecart transportation system beneath these caves, and we're also proposing the idea of a new woodcutting guild, which while inside you'll be granted an invisible plus 7 boost to your woodcutting level, and the addition of the new redwood trees, which will require 90 woodcutting to chop down, and can be used to make pyre ships, burn shade corpses, and of course train fire making. In addition, you'll find Ents wandering around an enclosure found beneath the woodcutting guild, which can also be cut for noted logs once they've been killed. And finally, we have the Hosidious Fruit Stalls. Requiring 25 thieving, these stalls would provide a chance of receiving multiple different types of fruit. And there's much, much more, so be sure to give the dev blog a read. Moving on to this week's updates. Starting with the new Necromancy Teleport Tablets, including convenient teletabs to places like the Wilderness Cemetery and Barrows. Moving on, we've made some small quality of life changes to Karend following feedback from the community, including new trees, mining locations, fishing spots, and various monsters roaming around. Up next, you'll find we've made the Monkey Madness 2 boss fight replayable. And speaking of Monkey Madness 2, the demonic gorillas saw some changes like a new large single way area, loot broadcasts, and Neve's gravestone will now track how many kills you have. And with all of that, we move on to this week's Q&A, where ModGhost previewed a new sneak peek of the new Master Clue Skull rewards, the Mummy Outfit. So we've got Treasure Trails coming up soon, and some of you wanted a Mummy Outfit. Now what I've done is I've looked at the softening, no, not softening, it'll be the Pyramid minigame, uh, Mummies, and I've made you an outfit that looks similar to those. So let's move on to this week's Player Spotlight feature, starting off with Link's Titan. Being our number one ranked overall player, he's just achieved 200 million experience in the Slayer skill. Congrats! Up next, we have this meme from Invalid FFS, captioned Nietz and Newt Newt. And lastly, Sephiroth uploaded this GIF captioned When Your Run Energy Runs Out. So that about sums up this week in Old School RuneScape. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the game, and aside from that, we'll thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.